see this thing? This is what iPods used to look like. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to resurrect this ancient piece of technology back to an awesomeness that it's never known. Back in the day, Apple used to put actual hard drives inside their iPods. And since people carried them around everywhere, many of them ended up with the infamous broken hard drive screen. So I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive with a lighter, more shock resistant compact flash camera card. And then we're going to geek it out a little bit by installing Rockbox on it. Okay, look, I know this is old technology. I mean, it doesn't even connect to the internet, so what purpose could it possibly serve? But aside from those first world problems, it's still an amazing piece of technology that can be hacked and repurposed. Besides, I was given a broken iPod, and when I get broken technology, it's just a compulsion to try and fix it. Here's what you're going to need. A broken hard drive that can still power on, mine's an iPod Classic 5th generation. An opening tool which you can get from Tarkin.info for around $350, and a compact flash iPod adapter which you can also get from here for around $18. Lastly you'll need a compact flash camera card of 2 gigabytes or larger, depending on how much you're willing to spend on it. The first thing that we need to do is find the hard drive. So using the special iPod tools, start prying up the sides to separate it from the metal backing. When it's open, you'll see a couple of cables connecting the back and the front. You want to detach this cable by lifting up this little plastic connector and then sliding the cable out. And there's the hard drive. What you want to do is lift it up and kind of swing the hard drive down like this so that you can see the ribbon cable attached to it. You can then detach it by lifting up this little piece of plastic and carefully removing it. Then take your adapter and put the CF card in it and place it face up where the hard drive used to be. Ensuring that the plastic connector on the adapter is up, insert the ribbon cable into it and then lock it into place by pushing the plastic connector back down. Now we can put it all back together. Go ahead and reinsert the battery cable and lock it down and then gently snap the face back on. Whenever you power it on you should see a screen like this meaning that we need to use iTunes to reinstall the software. So go ahead and plug it into your computer, open up iTunes and then follow the prompts to recover it. At this point you've got yourself a fully revived iPod. But why stop there? Let's make it even better. If you go to rockbox.org, you can download an iPod OS that gives you dozens of games, skin options, and apps to use on your iPod. Once it's installed, you can just drag your music onto it using any folder that you want, and Rockbox will find it. Then just eject and reboot your iPod and let it boot into Rockbox. You can now use the file browser to get to your music, and you can also view the dozens of games that are on there and change the theme options. If you don't like it, you can always use the Rockbox installer to remove Rockbox and then reinstall Apple's OS. This is a great way to revive that old technology to learn how it works and to pass it on to someone who might enjoy it. If you like this video, please support me by subscribing, liking, or commenting. Also, be sure to visit my Google Plus or Twitter pages. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.